Right off the top of a fantastic day, and welcome to Offshore, a indie horror game. And uh, as the Game Store page puts it, you're an offshore technician for wind turbines, but this day a routine check takes an unusual turn. And it is a short story meant to be played in one session. Don't know how long it is, but I'll assume 10 20 minutes, but we'll see. Looked interesting, we're just gonna get into it. And of course, you check out my pinned comment down below, check out my Discord server, and join if you wish. If you enjoy friendly communities and all the use friendly people, things like that, you should check it out. But either way, um, it depends on everyone's monitor, but this one's accurate for me at least. Nice retro, retro graphics. Reminds me of the, uh, no one lives under the lighthouse kind of stuff. I, 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 I'll never get tired of, like, retro PS1 style graphics. It's just the best. Actually, there's this one indie horror game. I have to remind myself what it is. Something about an island, like Pale Something, I'm pretty sure. It's a game I was looking forward to and I haven't heard for a long time, and I'm now wanting to quickly find out what shit that is. Because goddamn, it was nice. And there goes the helicopter, too. Oh, I, I was fucking right. It's called The Pale. Genuinely called The Pale. I'm, I'm gonna have to look up, but yeah, no, if I remember, I'll put The Pale up above for anyone curious about games like this. Then you should check out The Pale. It's been a long time since I played it, and also. Um, uh, wait, it's all, wait, hopefully it gets fixed. Hang on, hang on. Enter. Oh, no. It, all right. If I minimize out of the game, apparently the mouse look starts getting messed up, and I have to then, like, hit and hold left click or right click in order for uh, me to do mouse look. I don't know. The game is made in the Goda engine, so there's bugs that I'm unfamiliar with because I'm usually complaining about Unreal Engine or un uh, or Unity or RPG Maker kind of uh, limitations, but well, besides that, I want to immerse myself in this and hope for the best. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a hung up scuba suit, but it just looks like a shrunk down person staring at me or a shadow person. I don't know, man. I don't like it. Um, and the following maintenance work must be carried out. For this wind turbine, check the fuse box, check all three fastenings underwater, and call us as soon as you are done. Don't forget to refill your oxygen. Ah. Mm, yes. The fuses look alright. <sighs> of course, the ad the added uh, what what crazy person that has a Bible with them kinda stick. Yet God, my king is from old, uh, from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea monsters on the waters. You crushed the heads of the Leviathan, or Le of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the, the, for the creatures of the wilderness. Okay. Anything else I need to check, was it? The fuse box I did. The fastenings underwater, which we're about to do, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what kind of uh, spooky things can happen. I don't know why there'd be a... A Bible entry or whatever on a wind turbine of all places, but... I don't know. Ooh. And where are the fastenings at? Yeah, we had to uh, have the, the paranoia of, uh, wait, do you have to follow these? There's oxygen's going down a bit. I'll assume it's these that I'm supposed to go down. But do I have enough oxygen to go there and back? Probably not do all three, if I'm even doing this right. Okay, just inspect this. Number one looks all right. I already gotta go back now. I don't know what the the top right up arrows are for, but maybe it's like 
good, healthy, warning, danger kind of, maybe, check marks? I have no idea. I don't think we can sprint. We can only make one trip at a time, 100%. Oh, my nose is stuffy, goddamn. Probably sounds like it in the, oh, in the video. Where's the entrance now? Before I, before I drown. Uh, before I drown. Before I drown. Oh, wait, so, I go to the top, never mind. Wait, uh, 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 uh. He's <sighs> getting a little worried there, but okay. Oh, wait. I ran out of oxygen. Back, back, yes. Okay, now we go back. Try to make sure we don't uh, lose track of which one we did. Hang on. Um, I have no fucking idea. God damn it. Um, I want to assume it's this one, but I definitely don't know which one I did first. Um, so we'll just go down this one. And hope for the best. Now that I, I'm not just like scuba, I, I, I was assuming at first I was gonna scuba dive just straight downward like in prior games I played, but it doesn't look like to be the case. And also, nothing's happened yet, so I'm a little, a little concerned. This one is number three. Okay, if this one's number three... Mm, which one? I did number one first. This is... This is number three, so that means I should... If it... Hopefully it's clockwise. And if this is number three, then the second one should be, like, to my left? Not my literal left right now, but, like, with jumping off the ladder. So... To my right. Did it become nighttime? No, weird. There's a bang sound, so I'm kind of curious what's going on. I wasn't hearing things, right? <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Um. It doesn't tell me which. Yeah. So I might. If I did this one, hopefully. Hopefully, this one is number two. And number one is to the left. And hopefully, it's clockwise. I'll swim down and get her down. And uh, if nothing happens, nothing happens. And I'll get to. I'll, I'll touch it. Might. Hang on. Just seeing things, or is it just me? This one might be a duplicate. Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Is it number one? Oh, it was. Okay, hold on. Alright, so this time, it's definitely this one. Now I know for sure. We can do like the left, then right, and then the one that's on the back. But this one's the one we haven't done. So let's see, is anything going to show up itself in day one? It depends on how long the game is and if there's multiple days or not. Like a slow progression into spookiness. Or if we die on this very trip, who knows? No? Nothing? We'll see, we'll see. And number two looks alright. Okay. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a real big fish. Wait. So I did see something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Eh. I did- I wasn't seeing things. There was like movement in the water. I don't know if it can kill me, but... I don't know if it's a scripted moment or if it's actually roaming, and it's just like... Mm. Big fish. You can 
the, her the character's heartbeat. Hmm. All right. Well, anyways, day number one presumably done. Uh. Oh, I fulfilled my task. Pick me up. Oh, never mind. I thought it was like, wait, something drop? Hey, I actually am getting picked up. Okay, well, that's cool. Then I'll come back for another day. Oh, no. Oh. oh, come on. Uh, okay. Okay, massive. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need another helicopter. And not to fly so low. Depending on <laughs> Thanks for playing Og. Oh, okay, well that that was shorter than expected. So it was definitely, definitely a short indie horror game, probably made in a week or something like that. The underwater horror gem and let's see, how long did they have to make this? It looked like the jam went from March 28th to April 7th. But then again, some people do post jam games, so it depends. But either way, uh, sure, horror game, it could be more going for it. But I mean, for a week, it presents itself as something that you could be more or, you know, like a portfolio for the developer. So otherwise, if you look at it through a, hey, how was it for a short horror game? It's okay. I can't complain. I was hoping for more spooky, but... You know, I mean, there was tension because I didn't know what could be in the water. Spookiness of what could be in the what, like in the water with you is always something that's intense, just because of our lack of understanding of what's in the water and the freaky, freaky things that can both be in Australia, which isn't underwater yet. But things underwater are equally scary as the things that are in Australia, and I just wanted to bring Australia up for some reason. Scary creatures, basically. That, that's about it. But either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Be a subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates of the videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.